In 1904, Herbert Kalmus got a degree in engineering and science from MIT. He was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts. And Herbert Kalmus, in the year 1914, along with his two partners in Boston, created the Technicolor Motion Picture Corporation. In the year 1917, they did one of the first color pictures ever in a film called The Gulf Between with star Grace Darmond. That's the only picture left of this. There are a lot of lost films from there. Now this was the first color process. It was very interesting because it needed a special projector with a roll of red film and a roll of green film. It was sort of like a prism effect to create the two colors on the screen. The problem was it was too expensive for movie theaters to install. So in the year 1922, he developed a new color process where he sort of did the same thing but he did that on the film so that the theaters didn't need special projectors. So one of those films was The Toll of the Sea and it starred Chinese star Anna Mae Wong. Now in the 20s, he divorced his wife, Natalie, but fun fact, she would continue to work for the Technicolor Company into the 1940s. Other films in color in the 20s would be The Ten Commandments, Phantom of the Opera, and Ben-Hur. Now in the late 20s, there was a new process that didn't have as much bleeding. You can see that in the late 20s film, The Viking. But the Great Depression hit, and so they weren't using color processes any longer. And he invented a camera that used a new innovation, blue. So who to turn to? Go to an animator. Yep, Walt Disney. He worked with Walt Disney on the silly symphony picture, Flowers and Trees. He continued in The Three Little Pigs, and then of course, that fine feature film in 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Of course, one of the most famous Technicolor movies is a childhood favorite, The Wizard of Oz. Hey, speaking of Technicolor, why am I still in black and white? Hey, much better. Now, to do a Technicolor film, you had to rent that ginormous camera and you had to hire somebody to be the Technicolor director. And like I said, Herbert Kalmus' ex-wife Natalie was notoriously difficult to work with. Oh, fun fact, Herbert Kalmus' stepdaughter played the part of Bonnie Blue Butler in Gone with the Wind, Clark Gable and Vivian Lee's daughter. Huh. This is why I do the Walk of Fame. I mean, you see somebody like Herbert Kalmus and you go, who the heck is he? And you find out he invented Technicolor. <laughs> this is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.